The next question that came in was that of tattoos. What does the Bible say about tattoos? Leviticus 19, 28. Well, actually, before we get there, <laughs> just, just curious. How many of you have a tattoo? I didn't okay. know you had a tattoo. <laughs> Some of you, this so we're is... Showing. So we're wanna, showing. We, need, right to, we need to have a show and tell station at response time. <laughs> so... <laughs> My senior year of high school, Myrtle Beach. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Come on, guys. Oh, guys. All right, Leviticus 19. Do not Uh, cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourselves. I am the Lord. Therefore, all you raised your hand, (laughs) sinners. And us too. (laughs) Now, the context of this, this passage, context is king in every interpretation of Scripture. You can't just pull out a verse and make it mean what you want to mean. And for a lot of folks... It's like, man, this is a place of hard core conviction and, and judgment for folks. But the reality of this text is that it's talking about pagan and idol worship. And so he's saying like, yeah, if you're a Christian, if you would identify yourself with Christ and you want to go get a big tattoo of Buddha on your belly, like that's probably not going to be the best choice. It's discouraging us from doing that. In our culture, it may not be an actual idol that you would go get tattooed on you somewhere, but each of us make idols of things in our own lives. You know, it could be a, uh, a dollar sign. It could be a, a tiger paw, which would just bring into question your ability to reason and make Stop. sound judgment. <laughs> anyway, you know, whatever, oh whatever it is. But uh, yeah, if it's not a, an item of pagan or idol worship, then scripture would say that we are free to do it. I love Revelation 19, 16. It says, on his robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, the book of Revelation is full of symbolism, so most scholars don't think he actually has a tattoo on his thigh. But I just love the thought for us here that's in question. He's got that tattooed on his thigh, who he is and why he's here. And so as long as it's not of pagan and idol worship, then it's an area that you're free to do it. Katie and I have our grandparent names tattooed on our yeah. ring fingers, just so you're aware. Well, it Katie's became also very practical got a big for me because my ring doesn't fit anymore because I've, you know, had seven kids. So this week I was like, what's your excuse? You don't wear your ring either. <laughs> like, why do you not have a ring this on? sympathy weight. My fingers get fat in pregnancy. Gosh. And I'm just trying to, <laughs> just trying to play oh, along. Gosh.